What's going on everyone? Give it thought back here on Thursday for the last video this week. Today, I've just been thinking about No Man's Sky again, and what the chances are we'll run into intelligent life in that vast universe of theirs. The game is set to have the largest land area of any game ever created, so exploration is a must in this game. Personally, the thing I am most excited about finding is other civilizations. This will of course be the most interesting part of the game, but the chances of finding those civilizations are very slim. I'll give you some statistics on that in a second, but first let's look at some intelligent life we know about already in No Man's Sky. Of course we've all seen the Sentinels. They are the guardians of the planets that don't really let you attack anything. And we've seen pirate ships as well, so we can assume that they're piloted by intelligent life. In some of the trailers, we've seen shrines and other things that point towards intelligent life. And that's what I want to see, the life that made those things. So what are the odds that we're going to find that life? It doesn't bode very well for us. According to Sean Murray, the creator of the game, 90% of the planets that you visit should be barren. That means exactly what Sean Murray says. No animal life, no plant life, nothing. But minerals, I think. But other than that, nothing really interesting. Keep in mind, 90% of the planets will be blank, in a sense. There will be no life on those planets, nothing interesting beyond gathering resources. Well, Sean Murray said 10% of them should have some life. But that life 90% of the time should be some grass and some shrubbery, or whatever. You know, some insignificant life. So with that, we see that only 10% of planets will have life. But that 10% will mostly be made of, of just plant life. The next step would naturally be animals. How often will we find animals in this universe? According to Sean Murray again, even those will be one in a million. Like genuinely one in a million. So just by going off that, we have a 1% chance of stumbling upon animal life in this universe. So if coming across one of those bird creatures I used in my thumbnail is only at 1%, what in the world are the odds of finding intelligent life? It looks like we have the answer. Quoting Mr. Murray again, he says that we save the crazy interesting creatures for not one in a million, but one in a hundred million. Those are the craziest odds I've ever heard. Compare that to something like finding a shiny in a Pokemon game. To do that, you have the odds of 1 in 8,192. That is nothing even close to 1 in 100 million. And how many times have you found a shiny through your Pokemon games just upon random chance? Probably not very much. There is a solution to this, sort of. Players will be able to share coordinates with each other and point each other to discoveries they've made. Hello Games have been pretty tight-lipped about the multiplayer in this game, so we don't know how far it goes. But I think the coordinate system will be the saving grace for this game. I hope this video doesn't sound too grim. This is by far my most anticipated game of this year. And I can't wait to maybe find a lost civilization in a procedurally generated universe. No matter the odds, I really think we're in for an interesting game experience with No Man's Sky. In defense of this system, if the planets in No Man's Sky were populated every single time you visited one, it wouldn't be very special when you came across a cool one. So I think in essence this will be a good idea if implemented correctly. Another speculative point I would like to make, there will probably be signs of intelligent life, sort of pointing their way towards their cities. Think of the road signs along the highways in our world, they're everywhere. So if civilization in No Man's Sky is modeled after us, I expect to see some of those road signs. And that's about all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And remember that I'll be covering No Man's Sky up to and after its release. So if you enjoy No Man's Sky, you know where to come. I also made another No Man's Sky video this week about what we can expect from the crafting system. So check that out if you're interested. Also, follow me on Twitter. I'll leave a link in the description for that. This is my last video this week, so expect me back on Monday. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, and remember, give thought to everything.